from Guaranteed Rate Field on the south side of Chicago. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And on the mound in this one, Garrett Crochet. Well, this guy featuring that straight four seam fastball, but off of it throws the cutter. And really, he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the four seam fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker contact, you have a chance to collect some outs. Now, it's going to look the same until the very last second. So hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right. And a foul ball left side. First pitch, one o'clock. And now the lefty puts it in the air out towards left center. Robert makes the grab on the run. Here's the Guardians lineup now. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of... Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way and out of here. That should get the dugout going. The Guardians strike first. It's 1-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. One down, and now the veteran third baseman, Jose Ramirez. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Robert settles under it and makes the catch. And there's two down. That is four. The first base is number 22. Two outs, base is empty. Josh and now Naylor. it's Josh Naylor. Crochet, 24 years old. A former first round pick in 2020. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Benintendi raging back towards the wall. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Against good pitchers, you've got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. So, a man aboard. Here's Lane Thomas. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Fletcher brings it in with a nice running grab. Solo shot for the Guardians this inning. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back at Guaranteed Rate Field. And on the hill in this one, Tanner Bybee. What do we need to know here? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Bottom of the first, Mickey Lopez up Lopez to the plate. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, it's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. And fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Pets and misses. It's a strikeout. 
just overmatched on that fastball right there and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat just came right after him with three straight and he had no answer for it. Luis Robert now in there and it's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Hard hit to right center. And that should be extra bases. Here comes the throw. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Fastball pretty much middle middle and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter so no surprise he put a great swing on it and now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. One out runner at second so up next for Chicago Andrew Benintendi Fly drive. The throw into second. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Andrew Vaughn stands in here, takes ball one low. Pitch misses, two and oh. I think he wanted that call in the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed, so he can adjust his sights oh. just a little bit. And there's two away. Not a good. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. They're already down a run, so I'm sure they'd like to punch back and even things up early. Yeah, it's never a good feeling, especially at your home ballpark, to go down in the first inning. So the best way is just to come out aggressive, try to tie the ball game up, but not just tie it up, take the lead. I tell you what, momentum can really swing, and you can put your pitcher back in a position where he feels his most confident. Squeezes it, and that's the third out. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. All even now at 1-1. Back after this on the show. New inning getting started. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. And the pitch. In the air, left side. Benintendi moving under it. And out number one on the grab. Will Brennan digs in now. Known for his late inning heroics. On the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bad, especially when you're playing extra innings. And that one fouled off. Hard ground ball for a base stop. In to score from third. They take the lead. It's 2-1. Big RBI for him right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Bo Naylor at the plate now. On the ground, right side. He's he out. takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Corey Lee. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. The pitch. That's a base hit, headed for the plate. He will score, and the White Sox tie it up. It's 2-2. Huge game tying at bat right there. Came through in a big spot to drive in the run. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent, and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, but he'll give a little bit on the edges like you said but from what I've seen 
he usually does that when a pitcher is just commanding those parts of the strike zone and essentially they've earned it the umpire rolls with him. Dominic Fletcher in the box now takes strike one with the winning run on it first bottom hey. half of inning number two top of the zone and it's called a strike spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another righty delivers gets a piece there we'll do it again right hander kicks deals got him looking and he did not like the call no that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen but certainly got away with the location there you know sometimes as a hitter when you're down in the count you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Miguel Vargas in the box now, takes strike one. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Lee, the runner at first with two gone. Line drive, that's a base hit. Throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is now in scoring position, two away. So the batting order turns over. Nicky Lopez steps to the plate for the White Sox. The pitch. Fall off foul. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is one and two. Stays alive. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We play two full. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. Here on the south side, out of the third inning, stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. Steven Crochet back to work. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. That's back there. And it's gone. He rocketed that one out of here. And it gives them the lead in the third. It's 4-2. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boone. Aggressive and it paid off. His bat looks like it's in the zone for such a long time, and that gives him the ability to get barrel on it and hit the ball out to any part of the park. Now the White Sox man. So they turn things over to the righty, Aniel De Los Santos. Gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. David Fry digs in for the Guardians. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Guardians doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. It's tough to remember the times they've actually swung and missed at a pitch because it really hasn't happened. They've made contact on nearly 100% of their swings. And the right-hander deals. No question about this one. It's out of here. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add to their lead. It's 5-2. Back-to-back jacks. And this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean... This is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. And that ball is gone. A shot to the opposite field. It's 6-2. That's their fourth home run of the game. 
They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. Pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a time. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. A massive home run. And they tack one on the board. It's 7-2. Jared Schuster takes over on the mound. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Here's the center fielder, Lane Thomas. Base knock center field, and that should be extra bases. And just a single as they hustle the ball back to the infield. Now, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that match up again. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on top. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And caught on the warning track. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Man at first, next, and now the right fielder, Will right Brennan. Field. He's Will over one. Brennan. Now a screamer into the outfield. Makes the grab for the second out. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating bat, when you can't get four. it to fall. Maybe Look next time up, he'll find a hole. Ryan. Here's Logan Brian Rocchio. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. And a foul ball. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. 0-2 oh, now as he swings through it. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two outs. That one ripped. That's down. One hops off the wall. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. A couple of hits in a row for him here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Stepping in, Bo Naylor. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, two outs. Well struck right field. Hits the fence. Throw in holds the lead runner at third. So it'll be bases loaded and two gone. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. He's already homered in this game. Liner and oh, that got him. To first and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while. Out towards right center. That's well struck. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Runner holds up at third. Bases still loaded. Two away as one comes across. With the base, Matt Foster okay. comes on now. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. Here's Jose Ramirez. In the air. This one's well struck. And it is gone. Grand slam. His second home run of the game, a four spot on the board. It's 
Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Here's Josh Naylor. This one smoked on its way out of here. Another one. Back-to-back -back homers. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they boost their lead. It's 14-2. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And now Lane Thomas lifted in the air right center field. Robert on the move. Brings it in for the third out. But they score 12 times with an offensive onslaught. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Guardians on top, 14 to 2. Back here on the south side as we go to the last of the third. And now it's Luis Robert right through there for a strike. Man at second. And they'll do it again. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that's the first out. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside no, part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Here comes a pinch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. One out and a runner at second here in the last half of the third. Next offering upstairs. One ball, two strikes, but down. A little tardy on that fastball. is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Foul ball still a one and two count. Fouls it back with two strikes. Here's a one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Jimenez throw to first. White Sox down to their final out. Andrew Vaughn now. Grounded out his first time up. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Base hit and a run in to score. Picks himself up in RBI. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of... Sends it to center and that's going to do it. And that'll do it. The Guardians slug their way to a win in this one. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. 14-3, the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.